welcome back to my channel so in this video we're gonna see how to make those cute wang shoes for babies 6 to 12 months old so for this I've taken three different yarns a gray one a black and the white I've taken two different uh, a thread in a different color uh, to, use, to use it as a stitch marker you could use this as a stitch marker as well scissors as always and I have also taken 4 mm crochet hook so gather your materials and let's get started so i have already done the sole of the shoe i will add a link of this video in the description box please check it out you can make the sole and then get back to this video so for this i'm going to take the white yarn and finding the center of the shoe i am just going to take pass my hook through one of the through the center of the shoe and grab the thread from inner of the shoe not from the outer I'm gonna grab it from the inner so I'm going to hold that and I'm going to chain one and now I'm going to start working only on the inner loops of the sole so as you can see so as you might see there are two loops so I'm going to be working on the inner and not the outer I'm going to work on the inner loops so we're going to do single crochet all the way across so this is going to be a repeat pattern going into the next inner loop alone I'm going to grab the white yarn pull through two loops on your hook wrap around and pull through both so go into the next uh, you can just tag along your white tail so that you can uh, get it nice and secure so work only on the inner loops we're not working on both the loops we're just going to work on the inner loop so continue making one single crochet only on the inner loops throughout and i'll meet you towards the end so coming to the end of it uh doing the single crochets only in the inner loops it should look something like this so once you come towards the end we're going to slip stitch on the top of the single crochet not on top of the chain one so slip stitch and now chain one again again chain one is not counted it's just your height so this is again a repeat pattern i'm going to make four rows of these single crochets so after every row we come back slip stitch and then chain one and go to the next row and slip stitch towards the end and chain one so i'm going to do three more rows of this you guys uh, can pause it here finish your three rows and then get back okay so for this second row onwards we are going to uh, single crochet into both the loops we are not going to just single crochet in one we are going to single crochet in both the loops so go in both the loops and grab the yarn two loops on your hook wrap around and pull through two so continue this pattern for the next three rows i'll meet you towards the end of the fourth row <laughs> To the fourth round chain one and single crochet all the way across so one single crochet in every stitch my yarn is a bit thin so it looks a little feeble and flexible uh, but it depends on the yarn you're using so it doesn't really matter And we are going to finish off this fourth row coming towards the end and I'm going to slip stitch so I am just going to chain one but just because I want to snip off this yarn over here so chain one and snip off and pull to secure so there you can see that it's starting to form some shape so this is a lens so we have a really thick white um, side of the shoe I would say I'm not sure okay so moving on I'm going to take my black yarn okay uh, we're gonna do like those lines running through so since we have four rows I am going to take the in-between 
that is off to the second row and uh, between the second and third row I am going to pass this black through so what we're going to do is we are going to get our hook and we are going to go from one two in the center in between the second and third and you're going to grab the black from inside of the shoe not from the outside from inside of the shoe so grab the black yarn as so uh, you can give a bit of a tail over there so that it will be easy for you to secure later I'm not leaving too much because I don't think it's required so just hold on to that go into the very next hole which you see in your work and grab the black yarn in so that brings two loops in for you now just make a slip stitch like that so we're just going to slip stitch around this row so go into the next grab the black yarn two loops just slip stitch go into the next grab your black yarn and slip stitch go into the next grab your black and slip stitch so you can see that it's starting to form a line in your white so just continue this all the way around do not mess up the rows stick on to the same row which you're starting from so it's easy to get confused but just try to work in a straight line and we should be good so let's make this line across our shoe and I'll meet you at the end and now I'm actually going to overwork on this because I want the thread to come in so I'm gonna do my last slip stitch uh, I'm gonna try to go in between these two loops and then grab it grab the yarn from outside to inside and slip stitch and I'm gonna slip off the black here and pull it to secure and the other tail which we had in the beginning uh, get that as well into the inner part of the shoe get it in the inner side of the shoe and now you're just gonna knot it off over here so that it's nice and secure and we won't have any loosenings or anything loosening up later on so give it a nice knot and that's it you can weave in these tails I'm gonna weave it towards the end of it so I'm not gonna do it now so this is how it should start looking for you we did the sole of the shoe and then we worked on all the way up to four rows of our white and we did the black lining so now again we're going to take the black and again from the inner part of the shoe starting from the center we are going to do the same thing we did here so whatever we did in the in between two row two and three I'm going to repeat the same thing here so bring it from the outside to the inside go into the next hole and just grab your black yarn in and slip stitch so this is the pattern and I'm going to repeat this all the way around on the top most layer so this is going to be working right under the loops we're not going to be working on, on the in the gaps we're going to be working right under the loops so this pretty much outlines your shoe so kind of bring it right under the loops not into the gaps so work this and I'll meet you at the end of this row okay so coming to the end just oh one more one last slip stitch over here and I'm gonna close it off so so that's that and there is our base uh, there is the base of our shoe uh, now we're going to take the gray yarn so uh, before this we need our stitch markers okay and uh, this is the center of the shoe which I have okay so taking from here from the very next loop I'm going to count 14 because this is a shoe size for a 6 month to a 12 month year old baby so from the center I am going to take 14 loops and on the 14th loop I'm going to put my stitch marker so I am going to uh, pass through and I'm just going to put my stitch marker right here 
and the same same thing in the other side of the shoe so our center and from there we have a stitch markers there so what we're going to do now is take our gray yarn and uh, we are going to work the two area of going into the black alone okay we're not going to go and work on the white we're going to work in the black so going into the black i am going to grab my gray yarn pull through uh, and I am just going to give it I am just going to hold it on so get your gray yarn pull through the black alone not work on the white and chain three two and three we're going to chain three as a height because we're going to go work double crochets so uh, every stitch for this row until the next stitch marker is going to be a double crochet so let's work that so wrap around go into the next black loops grab the yarn three loops on your hook wrap and pull through two pull through two so wrap the yarn go into the next loops draw up a loop three loops on your hook wrap around pull through two and through two so this is a double crochet so for this row we are going to work only in the black loops not on the whites we're going to work only on the black completely and you're going to make double crochet all the way until the next stitch marker okay so go ahead and do that so coming to the end of the double crochets i remove my stitch markers and i'm going to chain one and turn your work and we're going to do half double crochets all the way across so a wrap around go and draw up two loops on your hook three loops on your hook wrap around and pull through all the three and go on and do this all the way across so it's going to be half double crochets throughout this row so i'm going to chain one and turn my work again so uh, you can see that it's starting close up yeah my thread is really thin so it just loses shape but sure yours could work differently so chain one turn your work and we're going to make half double crochet decreases so grab your yarn go into the first loop come out through the next loop grab your yarn three loops on your hook wrap your yarn and pull through two only do not close the last two so wrap the yarn go into the next come out to the next pull through three uh two grab and pull through two so wrap go into and come out wrap and pull through two so continue this decrease all the way down to the other side do not close off the threads or do not close off the loops just Pull through two loops and hold on to the rest of the loops. Uh, make sure you work this carefully. You do not want to lose any loops in between or you do not want to miss any loops in between. So work it really carefully, cautiously. So wrap, go in, come out through the next, wrap and pull through two. So go in, come out through the next, wrap and pull through two. So we're going to do half double crochet decreases all the way around, oh, sorry, all the way across to the other side of the shoe. I uh, just have one more decrease to go. And that's it. Wrap around and pull through two. And now since we have all these loops hanging on on our book, we're going to wrap around and pull through all these loops so work it really carefully you do not want to miss in or you do not want to get in between any of the loops just work it really carefully and cautiously so come out through the other side and that's it we're going to chain one to secure and if you want you can chain one more and then snip off the yarn i'm just going to chain one more grab it really tight snip off and I'm gonna pull to secure. So that's it. We have our cape and shoe here. Okay, so this looks really pretty. You guys can stop right here if you wish to. But uh, I worked on something a little different. So I've added like a bow over here for this shoe. So this is nothing but a chain of 30 and pretty much an open pom pom. So if you guys want to know how to do that, let 
I'm just gonna continue that and you, you guys can watch it or if you're done and you think this is enough for you you can just uh, tag in all your tails uh, stitch it in and then you're done so I'm gonna work my lace or my bow so for that I'm gonna chain 30 only so taking my gray on make a slip stitch slip knot and chain 30 just chain 30 that's it and that's it I'm just gonna snip off a longer tail so it's easy for me to stitch in pull it and pull it tight to secure so there we have it we have a new lace okay so to make these uh, cute baby pom-poms I'm gonna grab my white yarn again and I just uh, wrapped it around my finger like you do for a pom-pom just 10 times I'm gonna snip it off uh, cut off a bit for fastening this off so take this as a center and you can just tie it yeah, I know this is not the typical way we do it but for this pom pom I thought this was all right so give it a bit tight as we do for the pom pom we're gonna just cut off all this separate them oh, they're really jumping out okay so go ahead separate them and as we would for the pom pom just keep turning it around and getting them into shape now uh, taking your needle and towards the tail side like where we started off so I'm just gonna stitch it into the pom pom so get your needle and it's just kind of touch up right yeah there you go so just get into the between of it and kind of like secure it uh, if you had a longer tail it would be really helpful but whatever suffices so just get it in and kind of secure it I'm just going to give it a knot with the previous white threads which we have with the pom pom so it's going to secure a bit there we go and I'm just gonna cut off these two threads these threads and to the pom pom itself I'm not gonna trim it off trim them off completely I'm just gonna make them work along for the pom pom so there and so taking our shoe and getting a needle through the other end I'm just counting four from the top side like we finished here so I'm just gonna count four loops and on the fourth loop, I'm going to work again the black. I'm not going to work in the white because we are not working the white. So I'm just going to bring it off in the black side and work it inside and just stitch it in. And that's it. Your lace is ready. So just give it a nice tack. We don't want it coming out at any point of time. So just work it along your stitches. And if you think you're satisfied with it, just go ahead and snip off the thread. So I'm gonna go and snip it off here. And that's it. So go ahead and weave in all your other remaining tails and I will meet you towards the end of it. So here we have it. A cute little baby ones. So I hope you guys like this video. Do share your views in the comment section below to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.